Ozone depletion describes two distinct phenomena as being observed since the 1970s. One being that there has been a steady decline of about 4% in total volume each year in the ozone layer. Another is that there has been a major decrease in the stratosphere over the polar regions. The most pronounced decrease in the ozone has occurred in the stratosphere. The stratosphere is second major layer in the atmosphere and is stratified, meaning it has different layers with different temperatures. CFCs, or chlorofluorocarbons, are the main causes for damaging the ozone. Examples of CFCs are paints, aerosols, air conditioners, and refrigerators. Ozone depletion is a serious issue and we've seen some major problems occurring because of it. Australia has a hole in its ozone layer and to prevent skin cancer, their citizens most constantly cover themselves while being exposed to the sun. With the temperature change, animals like plankton may not survive. And in turn, animals that feed on plankton may be affected. The ozone layer protects us from harmful UV rays. And when those layers are broken down, we're exposed to more and more of the, this light. Too much of this light can cause cataracts. Now that scientists have seen these negative effects, they're doing more research. One way we can help is to properly dispose of the CFCs that we use. Or we could all together cut down on the amount of harmful products we use. The planet's climate could also be affected by depletion of the ozone layer. Wind patterns could change, resulting in climatic changes throughout the world. It also damages the DNA of marine bacteria in the larvae of starfish and urchins. They say, and it even alters ocean chemistry, creating potentially dangerous substances in the water itself. It's important to be aware of what we're doing to our planet. If we all make a conscious effort to go green, we can make the Earth a happy place to live.